What's good, YouTube? Hit my X. Make sure I hit that like, hit that sub. Show your boy some love. Uh, running late for work, as usual. Y'all know the y'all know the deal, but we still gonna push this video out. I want to speak about Marvin Bagley because there's still a lot of rumors going out uh, after his father came out and said to trade him. He tweeted out to trade Marvin Bagley. So now the rumors are, are running rampant with Marvin Bagley, uh, with him being traded, man. And um, it led me to question, is it too early for the Sacramento Kings to give up on Marvin Bagley? I just, for me personally, um, a lot of people are coming out saying Marvin Bagley is a bust. Um, they should have drafted Luka Doncic. I feel like it's too early to make that assessment. If you remember, at one point uh, before the draft, coming into the draft, he was the number one rated prospect in the, in the country in high school over DeAndre Aiden, over a lot of talented players, uh, Trey Young, all those guys, man. And uh, I wouldn't, I, I personally wouldn't um, give up on a guy who's 6'11 with a 7'1 wingspan, um, can take the ball off the rebound and run and transition the way he does so fluidly, you know. I feel like, yeah, okay, he had a lot of knick-knack injuries. Um, he's had an underwhelming career. You know, like I said, though, those Luka Doncic comparisons aren't going to go away, right? No time soon, especially when you're playing the way you are. You know, but the Sacramento Kings, man, they give up on, on Marvin Bagley III. It'll be another setback for this franchise, um, similar to when they gave up on Boogie Cousins the way they did. Um, you just don't you do not do that, man. With a talented player like this, um, he still has years to grow. we got to understand he's, he's only in year three. Not like he's in year seven or eight. So to give up on a player that, that quick is just it's, it's, it's premature. And it's idiotic in my opinion. And it would it would define the, the Sacramento Kings as a just incompetent organization that they've been since they last been to the playoffs. You got what I'm saying? It's been so long since they've been in the playoffs. Um, I can see them making a desperation move, but like I said, it's, it's not uncommon in Sacramento. But uh, I wouldn't personally give up on, on Marvin Beck. I feel like he still has a lot of potential. And uh, in order to quiet all those, all those Luka Doncic um, deflectors, you got to play well. I mean, you got to perform well. I know right now he's averaging like 12 and 9. You know, not very great numbers for numbers who overall pick, but it's solid numbers. It's not like it's bad numbers, right? You can't look at it like, oh, well, you know, Luka Doncic is putting up this number. I'm talking from, from the Marvin Bagley aspect. You can't look at what Luka Doncic is doing and try to compare it with yourself. You just got to come out yourself and perform well. It's point blank period. And those, those, those uh, deflectors, Will be will, it'll be more quiet. You won't have to hear about Luka Doncic anymore if you're playing good, you know. Just similar with DeAndre Aiden. You know, once we're, once you start winning, you know, you won't have to hear any more naysayers. Point blank period. All you have to do is win. It doesn't matter if you're putting up great numbers. You have to win basketball games. You have to play. You have to perform well, you know. Um, I know they had benched uh, Marvin Bagley for Rashawn Holmes for a couple of games. Um, in no way straight stretch of the imagination is Rashawn Holmes as talented as Marvin Bagley, but he has been playing better in, in stretches. You know, he had played better than Marvin Bagley. So, you know, like I said, man, Marvin Bagley, he's still young. Uh, he's still got time on his hands. He got time in his favor, so I wouldn't give up on him personally. But um, if they are going to entertain those trades, um, as you see, you see a lot of – you see Dallas Mavericks, the Toronto Raptors, Minnesota Timberwolves. <clears throat> I like the Raptors and the, and the Mavericks. I'm not sure how the how the Timberwolves work uh, or how he would fit there, but um, the one trade destination that I feel like is being slept on the most is the Houston Rockets. If the Houston Rockets can find a way to get Marvin Bagley over there, even if it's um, trading James Harden and getting a package of Marvin Bagley, uh, a load of uh, draft picks, uh, maybe you could get Tyrese Halliburton or some more pieces. If they could figure out a way to do that, and Sacramento will take that. You're talking about a, a, a scary team. You got John Wall, Marvin Bagley, DeMarcus Cousins, Christian Wood. That team will overnight become one of the more deeper teams in the league, you know. So, like I said, Marvin Bagley is still a valuable commodity. You know, he just has to perform well and live up to his expectations, you know, and stop looking over his shoulder at what Luka Doncic and DeAndre Aiden, Trey Young, all these other guys are doing and worry and focus about your own career, homie. Point blank period. But uh, Hitman next, that's all I got, man. Uh, I'm, I'm pushing out content when I ain't got no business doing. I'm supposed to be at work right now. 
But uh, shout out to y'all, to everybody in the comment section, showing love to the videos. Uh, but yeah, hit that comment section. Let me know how you feel about this one. I'm out of here.